Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH, a.k.a. Jesse, and we are back for part four of Papa Sangre, the original uh, audio game from Something Else Games, and it's actually a little bit longer than I remember. I thought we were actually getting toward, toward the end of the level, especially with how long that one level was where we were kind of chasing our guide there for a while all around this uh, windy path. But now we are at the Palace of Glass, or whatever the heck it is called, and let's see what's going on here. This probably can't Outside, be good. The trail continues through snow. Frozen rivers. The ice is noisy. Release the chickens. To attract the hog. Uh -huh. So you can cross the ice to the nuts. Okay. Chickens. Carry on, the snow is safe. Got to concentrate here. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so horrible. Oh, whoa, what? That's a weird... Okay, not quite sure what's going on there, but... Next in this palace of glass is Papa's Petting Zoo. A field of ice and snow with an appalling menagerie. I, I don't like... You know, the palace of ice and snow, sure, but I, I don't think I like... <clears throat> um, a zoo? No, that means there's bad creatures. This zoo is snowed over. There are two awful things behind you. Hmm. A snuffle hog and a giggling reaper. You wish they were in a cage. A strip of ice in front of you runs from left to right. Stepping on it will make the hog charge. Oh, great. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's not much I can say when I'm playing these levels. Like, honestly, I mean, there's so many things that I really have to pay attention to. Like, where are all the creatures? Do I hear any sort of sound effect that's going to give me away? survived the glass menagerie. Now here is a cathedral. A ruined vault with noisy broken glass of smashed chandeliers littering the floor. Okay, well, into that level. So, moving on. But yeah, I mean, like I said, there, you know, there's not much uh, commentary I can do while playing because, like I said, this is all audio. And I said there's a lot more going on than the old night jar. you got to really pay attention. So, let's move on. Oh, groans the glass cathedral. Scattered across the floor is broken glass from three smashed chandeliers. You must walk slowly. Three cages of chickens may feed the hog. Oh boy. Uh oh. Where? Uh 
Uh oh. Shit. Come on, chickens. You must be sacrificed. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I hear it. Oh, get me out of here. Yeah! I think he said there was three things of chickens. I didn't even need them all. I only needed two. Whew. I was kind of worried there because after I got that second set of chickens, like the one right before there. You're nearly at the gates of the palace of Papa Sangre, but a blizzard descends. Uh -huh. So right before I got that second set of chickens, I could tell the, the hog was coming up on my left. I'm like, oh, please don't intercept me. Please don't intercept me. Then after I got the chickens, I'm like, okay, I don't know. I'm just going to keep running and running away from the sound of the hogs and the chickens being slaughtered because I like with the snow and the hogs and the chickens I couldn't even hear the note for a while and eventually I kind of like oh okay there it is sort of straight ahead and once I had that then uh, then I was pretty much okay from that point but I was kind of worried in the middle of that level for a while uh What? I didn't even get a... The heck level am I in? It didn't even give me a... Intro. Uh... Well... We're just gonna run. Hope like hell. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Please. Shoot. Oh no. I have, I was kind of running on a parallel course with him. I think one got in, one intercepted me. Uncool. <laughs> Uncool. <laughs> Something like that. A herd of hawks are trotting fast through the icy wind. <sighs> Listen hard for the notes. And escape before you are trampled. Yeah, about that. Okay. No, no. Shit. Okay. Holy shit, this is tense. Please leave me alone. Leave me. No! Oh! I get the notes, but I can't get to the exit. 
The stupid hog just intercepts me. God, that sound effect. <laughs> okay, one more time. I do not like this level. Okay. 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 Don't hit me. Damn it. Mm. This one is tough because there's so many things going after you. And you got the wind. Yeah, okay. It was funny the first time or two, but now you're just getting annoying. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I get it. It's just... Come on, baby. Yes! All right, I had to take a little bit of a detour to the left to get around that last hog. That was tense. That was kind of insane. Because that was like a fast action, almost like an arcade action level of like, yeah. If you were not blinded by darkness, on the other side of the vast ice lake, where a siren sings to you, Leading to be rescued. Okay, well. I don't know if we're going to rescue that siren. Chickens. Ahead of you, a vast ice lake. The thinner ice in the distance is noisy. There on the thin ice lies the notes. Uh huh. And the lost soul of a beautiful siren. But she will slow you into the jaws of the hog. If you rescue her, no good can come of it. Uh-huh. Well... Okay. Whoa. Where? Oh no. Don't care, I'm getting out of here. I don't know if I rescued her. Yes, Miss Chavalitos. It's later than you think. Here you are, in the palace of Papa Sangre. Here, the soul most precious to you is indeed in grave danger. For here you are, brave soul. Here, inside my palace. Gee. 
I think, you know, we're going to keep going because I think this is, we're really getting closer to the end now. Listen carefully for the faint bell. It peels the sound of the light. Walk into it and ring. It vanishes and reappears. Ring three times to open the door to the light. Okay, yeah. Wear the fake bells. Oh. They bring Papa to your side and he'll tape you and nail you and burn you to hell. Yeah. I don't think I like that. Okay. Got to find the real bell. There's one. Okay, I think it's this way. Okay. <laughs> that sound effect. <laughs> uh, there you are, Belle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right, boom. I think that's the last level. Now, let's see what happens here. All right, well. Almost some, some this almost reminds me of something out of like the Wizard of Oz, like the birds and the like doo -doo -doo, like I don't know, it just, for some reason, reminds me of that. The way the music was going for a second. Okay. Um, going next, I guess. What happens here? You rang the fate bell. Felicitaciones, amigo. So, here is your fate. For you to decide. But I saved the little girl, too. To make it interesting. Two exits. The door on the left leads out back to the light, the land of the living. Uh -huh. The door on the right leads back into my kingdom of the dead, the lost soul forevermore. Which door will you take for yourself? But the little girl, she takes the other door. Oh. It's always up to you. Sueña bien, <clears throat> amigos. Okay. Remember, Papa loves you. Yeah. Your choice. Sure you do. Yeah, a lot of love when you got to make that kind of a choice. Okay, so hopefully we're going to get the chance to do this over. We're going to be noble. And we're going to sacrifice ourselves back into the land of the dead so that our youngin or whoever can live let's see what the ending is here
Okay. Interesting. So there you go. That's kind of a okay. So let me see what other choices we have. So let's do the other way. You rang the fate bell. Let's see what the other ending does. So, here is your fate. For you to decide. But I saved the little girl too. To make it interesting. Yeah. Two exits. The door on the left leads out back to the light. The land of the living. The door on the right leads back into my kingdom of the dead. The lost soul forevermore. Which door will you take for yourself? But... The little girl, she takes the other door. Mm -hmm. It's always up to you. Sueña bien, amigos. Remember, Papa loves you. Right. Your choice. Okay. Well, now we'll take the other way. And see just what happens this way. I honestly don't remember. I remember that other ending. Okay, so th weird. Okay, this time she's alive. I thought it'd be just the opposite, but hmm. Uh huh. Okay, interesting. Well, there you go. Um, that is a playthrough of Papa Sangre number one, uh, the first game. So we had a little bit of trouble in some of the levels. Uh, the second, uh, the second area we had. A bit of trouble on the final level, and then there was eh, one or two more levels in there where I had a little bit of trouble. But man, I I actually survived this one a lot easier than I remember remember doing the first time I played this. I don't know if there was like a patch later on that made it easier, but I don't remember it being as easy as it was this time. Especially, like I said, I remember the. Um, I remember the most trouble that I had was, uh, I think right around that stupid, uh, checkerboard area where I didn't actually land on any, um, metallic squares. I somehow, which is kind of weird because, you know, all I did is line up toward the light and I just went through it. But I just remember having so much trouble. It was either that one, it was one of the metal ones. That's all I know is there was one where there was like a metal strip or the checkerboard or... There was some level that I just remember having a lot of trouble the first time I played this. But anyway, hope I hope to God this actually recorded all these videos. And that way we will have yet, at least not in playable form, but at least in video form, we will have a uh, little bit of a preservation of Papa Sangre. Um, the Night Jar and Papa Sangre Down and Papa Sangre 2, and theoretically, uh, audio defense left to go. Although, like I said in the first video uh, for the Night Jar, that is going to be a little bit more difficult, because I like to play those two games with the movement accelerometer, where I can physically turn around. Um, and I just, for those games, like the, especially audio defense, they... 
the swipe just does not feel near as either quick or accurate enough. It just feels, in a way, so much better having that option. So we will see what I can do with Papa 2 and... Um, and uh, audio defense, but it's nothing else. Like audio defense is mainly, you know, the gameplay. I mean, yes, there is the Doctor Bastard campaign story, but uh, we'll see what I can do. But uh, we're at least two down, assuming this recorded. So, hope you guys have enjoyed these so far, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Follow me on Twitter at bgfh79, and until next time, we'll talk to you guys again later.